Hi everyone! Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome! It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back guys. So, welcome to your readings for August of 2018. Summer is almost over. Boo. I know, it sucks. But, on a happier note, I want to give a big ol' happy birthday to the rest of the Leo clan that are finishing out your birthdays. It's your birthday season. I hope you guys had a great one. And I want to extend a happy birthday to the, Var the Virgos. Yeah, we're going to be going into your season soon. So, happy birthday to you guys. I hope you enjoy. Um, so, down to business. These are general readings, okay? So, take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Yes, don't try to like fit something in there and then, you know, when it, you know, it really doesn't resonate, it doesn't fit. Yeah. Um, I am officially back in business when it comes to personal readings. Yeah. So if you would like a personal reading with me, you can find all of the information in the description box below, um, which includes the readings that I offer, a little bit about them and my email address. Yes. And their prices. If upon reading through them, you don't really know what reading you think would work best for you, just go ahead and email me. We can chat a little bit about your situation and then I should be able to decipher which reading would be best for you. Yeah. If you are in the New York City metro area, I will be at Om Shanti Bookshop every Monday from 11 to 5 p.m. That is located on 14th Street between 1st, I'm sorry, between 2nd and 3rd Avenue in Manhattan. Please come by and see me. I would love to meet you in person. You can either come through as a walk-in, you know, at the time that you want, whenever it's convenient for you, or you can go to the website, which can be found in the description box below, and get their phone number. And from there, you can schedule a reading in advance. Yeah, definitely works out well that way. For the readings this month, I will be using the Golden Universal Tarot. I love this deck. Look, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Like, it's so pretty and golden. Well, actually, you can't, can't really see it that way, but you'll see it when we get into the reading, yeah? And then I will be pulling some Oracle Guidance from the Fairy Forest deck by Lucy Cavendish. Yes? Yeah. Anything else? Anything else? I don't think so. So, without further ado, let's get to it, yeah? Hey Leo, welcome to your reading for August 2018. Thank you so guys so, so much for tuning in and joining me. I hope you guys are enjoying your birthday season. Yeah, happy birthday to my August uh, Leos. Happy birthday to the July Leos also. But let's get into your reading. Yeah, excellent. All right, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Leo for the month of August 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Leo. So already, I'm seeing some yellow here for you. And obviously, that would be celebration, as it is your birthday season. Um, lots of good celebration going on. But I'm also hearing pride and ego. Um, and I mean, that's what, you know, that's that's what Leo is pretty much about, right? You know, they can be very prideful. They can, sometimes you might get caught up in your ego. Um, that might be a focus for some of you right now. Um, redefining your will, you know, realigning your willpower. You might... <laughs> yeah, some of you are actually going through some ego deaths here, which is not a bad thing at all, actually. <laughs> it's a pretty good thing, um, which could also be uh, in conjunction with, you know, realigning your will. You could be in the process of um, aligning your will to a higher state of uh, resonance, yeah? But aligning your will to the higher will of the universe, to the will of God, source, creator of your higher self, whichever, you know, whatever you believe in, whatever. You've got a flyer here, Leo. Oof. Okay, we've got the lovers in reverse with the queen of cups and the six of pentacles. All right. So there could be someone around you, Leo. Um, this could be... A, a deep soulmate connection here, yeah? 
and because I am, uh, I am a twin flame myself, so I am talking to twin flames potentially. So we could be talking a twin flame relationship. Um, if not, this is like a really deep soulmate, soulful connection. This could be, I'm picking up, this could be some sort of karmic partnership, actually. For some of you, we're talking about a soulmate connection here, a deep soulmate connection or a twin flame connection in which things are just, well, reversed or blocked. The relationship is blocked at the moment or there, there are blockages in between you and this person. Um, and someone is really up in their feelings about it, but they're holding on to their emotions here with the Queen of Cups. They're really not um, portraying or displaying or um, sharing their emotions about it. And what I'm getting here is in this situation, um, there, there needs to be a balance between give and take, okay? Now, what I'm picking up here is for, this could either be you, Leo, or this could be someone that is, that is um, connected, that you're connecting with. This could be your soulmate, twin flame, whatever. Um, this person, whoever is up in their feelings about this, is really focused on balancing the scales in this relationship. Um, they could be focused on how things were imbalanced in the past and that led to a major blockage to this relationship here with the lovers in reverse. Um, they could also be focusing on how to bring balance into the situation. They are also, this could, there could be some divine masculines out there who are really in their feelings about, about things are really, now this, if, for those of us that are on the twin flame journey, keep in mind guys that this is, this is a general reading. I do, I'm not reading for just twin flames here, I'm reading for everybody, and I do have a definition here for people that are not within the twin flame situation, but let me finish this one first. Um, divine masculines are, in the twin flame collective, are really, getting associated with their femininity, okay? And through that, greater balance between give and take, balancing the scales within relationships is a central focus. And this is not just, this is not just um, within this twin flame, soulmate, divine partnership connection. This is also with all, <laughs> every, all types of relationships, okay? So, um, this could be you, Leo, or this also, again, this could be someone else that you're associated with, okay? On the other hand, there are some people that are in karmic relationships here, which is what the, the, the lovers in reverse is saying to me. And with the Queen of Cups, um, with the Queen of Cups, someone is realizing that this is either a karmic relationship or this relationship just cannot stand anymore because there is an imbalance between give and take here. But this person is kind of suffering in silence with this Queen of Cups here. Again, they are not really sharing. <laughs> they're not sharing, okay? They've got all this emotion, these emotions going on, but they're not talking about it. Instead, they're dealing with it internally. And for most of you that are coming, that are that I'm picking up here, you're dealing with things in a way, uh, in an internal manner. It's almost like a hermit energy or like a, a almost, or like a, um, a hanged man energy. But this, in this situation, you're not isolated. You're still very much around these people, but internally you're going through and dealing with whatever it is that you're starting to realize about this relationship. Yeah? All right, Leo. Let's give a few more shuffles here. And then we'll get into the spread. I'm just going to give you three more shuffles for Leo. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of yellow here. So this is definitely celebration because it's your birthday month. But I'm also really hearing willpower. And so especially for those people that I was just channeling for with the, that are in these either karmic situations or um, these divine partnerships, soulmate connections in which the things are blocked, you are working on building up your willpower to make a change. Okay. All right. Last shuffle here. Um, and actually, I just looked at the my my screen here, and the Queen of Swords. I just caught my attention. So there are some of you that are very much, very much in a no drama, cut the shit, 
situation or a type of energy, okay? So you could be really trying to figure out how to cut some drama, some bullshit out of your life. All right, Leo, here you go. Starting you off with your very own card, Strength. Okay, this is in your overall energy, yeah? One of three cards in your overall energy. Um, yeah, willpower. A lot of you may be building up the strength to make a big change in your life. Also, you could be exerting your own newfound strength to really push forward in your life. We've got, okay, well, we've got the Six of Wands in reverse. We've got Justice, upright. And we've got the devil in reverse. Okay, so for some of you, now, you could be, I'll just throw this part out there, you could be dealing with a, another Leo um, or another fire sign, Sagittarius or Aries, because you do have the six of wands here. You could be dealing with a Libra with justice, or you could be dealing with a Capricorn with the devil. Okay, but either way, someone either you, Leo, or someone you're connected with <laughs> has really cut some codependent cords with the devil in reverse, all right? Um, justice has really been served, has really been brought to this situation. Um, with the Six of Wands in reverse, it kind of feels like, Leo, or whoever, whoever I'm speaking to here, it kind of feels like this isn't really a victory, in some situations, in some cases, you could be, you know, holding your head up high, even though you kind of feel defeated. Because I really feel like, Leo, you are the one that has, that is releasing this codependency or this devil energy, this toxic energy. This could be addictions, this could be toxic relationships, um, anything like that. And with the Six of Wands here, I'm picking up that, yeah, I, I just heard trying times. Okay, yes, because... For some of you, you're having to really hold your head up high and move forward, really pull on your own strength to move forward here. But what I'm picking up with the Six of Wands in reverse is that there is a victory at hand. Like, you may not be able to see it right now, or it may not even look like it right now, but this is victorious. Whatever justice was brought to this situation, even if it feels like you've lost or like you're ending up alone right now, this is a victory for you. <laughs> This is a big old victory for you, Leo, okay? Or whoever. I feel like it's mostly the Leos here that are, that are dealing with this, especially with the strength card. But you're really digging deep and finding the strength to move forward and to actually cut these cords with justice and the devil in reverse, okay? Excellent. I want to remind you also that you have all of the abundance of the universe at your disposal with strength here. You really just have to believe it. Okay, Leo? Or whoever. But this is mostly for Leos. All right. Getting into your storyline here. We're starting you off with <laughs> the Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay, so more fire energy. Uh, the Two of Cups. Upright. Very interesting. There are a few things I'm picking up here with this one. First of all, someone could be, oh, there goes my feather. Someone could be um, letting go of player energy in favor of a deep soulmate connection. Now the two, of, oh Lord, this feather. I'm so sorry, guys. It's, I'm gonna leave it right there. <laughs> the two of cups is, um, is a minor arcana depiction of the lovers, okay? It's very similar to the lovers. The lovers came out in the flyer for you, Leo. So, okay, so some of you could be releasing this player aspect with the Knight of Wands in, in favor of a deep soulmate connection. Or, I'm also picking up that some of you could be in this, in a frenzy to find a mate with the Knight of Wands in reverse and the Two of Cups upright. And this could be in conjunction, this could very well be in conjunction with this codependency, this toxicity that you've released with the Devil in reverse. Also now that I'm thinking about, I'm looking at it though, some of you could be um, in this cycle of some sort of, I'm hearing, um, 
serial monogamy or, you know, jumping from one relationship to a next um, without really taking the time to heal from whatever situation you just came out of. But there is a strong energy of someone letting go of the player aspect in favor of romance, commitment, a, a, a connection, actually wanting to have a connection right now instead of, you know, just having one night stands or racking up notches on the belt, on the bedpost, that kind of thing. Moving forward, we have the Four of Pentacles. And I so already, <laughs> just with this energy alone, I really feel like someone is really holding on to you, Leo. Or, Leo, you could be holding on to somebody else. Ah, with the Three of Swords in reverse. Now, there again, this is a general reading, guys, so there's going to be a lot of different definitions here, but I'm getting two main definitions. One, someone is holding on to someone else and is letting go of the heartbreak associated with this relationship. Realizing that the connection that they have with this person or the, the feelings that they have for this person heavily outweigh whatever energy this Three of Swords is, okay? On the other hand, there could be some of you that are holding on to this Three of Swords energy, like you're stuck in this Three of Swords energy and you don't want to release your point of view of the situation. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> That's no fun. <laughs> Moving forward, we have Seven of Wands. More fire energy, Leo. With... Oh boy, the Ace of Cups. Mm -mm. Someone is really defensive. Someone is has has put up some boundaries and is not looking to take them down anytime soon, I'll tell you that. Um, but with the Ace of Cups in reverse, I'm picking up an energy of, um, you know, especially if these boundaries were put up, I'm picking up an energy of not, not giving love outside and more outside of themselves and more maybe even focusing on self-love and self-care. But also I'm getting, what I'm really getting heavily from this is someone just does not want to offer love to somebody else. Maybe doesn't even want to accept love, like is not looking to accept an offer should that come through. And I feel like this is connected to whatever this deep soulmate connection is that came out with the flyers of the lovers, and now the Two of Cups here. Like, this Knight of Wands and the Two of Cups energy is one person, and then the other person is this Seven of Wands and um, Ace of Cups in reverse. So, interesting. Very interesting. Because I was going to say, Leo, this is probably you with the Seven of Wands, but this also could be you, Leo, with the Knight of Wands. You actually, let Leo, you might be ready to settle down in some way. It's just whoever the potential, who like whoever you cut out, you're not necessarily all that willing to take any, take them back, take any sort of offer from them. Now, here's the thing, because the Ace of Cups is here. But it's not going to be very easy to get behind these barriers that have been put up here with the Seven of Wands. I'll tell you that much. I'm not going to say that you're absolutely never, ever going to accept any sort of offering from this one specific person or from somebody else. If it's like you put, you just put walls up around every, around yourself in, uh, in regards to everybody. I feel like some of you have done that with justice here. Now, that's not so bad at the moment because justice is upright. So I'm just feeling like if you are one of those people that have put up bar barriers and you're not taking love offers from anyone, like across the board, that's okay. You just need some time to heal. But if this is directed towards a specific person, 
um, and there's like a, say, a potential of them coming back, or you feel like there's a potential of them coming back, it's going to be really difficult for them to get behind, to, to, to break, for you, forget, to get, to get you to break down those walls that you've now put up, those defenses you've put up against them. Because, look at it, look, because, why? Because this, this relationship was toxic as fuck with the devil here. The devil was in the reverse, and this is a depiction, is a similar to, a depiction to the lovers, Okay, because you had these two people, these two individuals, and the angel in between them. Well, now you have the devil with these two individuals and the devil in between them. You also have the two of cups here, which is, like I said, a main, a minor arcana depiction of the lovers. So you've got a really deep soulmate connection here, but that shit was toxic. Was really toxic. There was all kinds of heartbreak with the three of swords here. Egotism. Egocentrism. Okay, so if this situation, if this is resonating with you at that level, what that means, what, I'm sorry, what this Six of Wands means is if you're still struggling to really be okay with having to cut this person off, understand that ultimately this is a victory. On the other hand, it may not look like a victory right now. Even if you're not struggling with this, even if you're standing in your strength knowing that you did the right thing with strength and justice here, this is a blessing in disguise when it comes to this relationship. Like, in the long run, this will turn into a victory. Chances are. Chances are this is really going to be much more of a victory than you think it is. Okay? Moving forward. We've got, ha, the Five of Wands in reverse. There's a lot of fire energy here, Leo. It's fitting. We're in Leo season. This is your reading. With the Five of Wands in reverse already, I'm picking up energy of um, not fighting back, not in getting in, engaged in petty arguments, not listening to the fucking peanut gallery, like taking control of your life with strength and justice and not letting other people tell you how to run it. Coupled with the world in reverse. Yeah. All right. Look, Leo, so for some of you, this situation is not over. <laughs> It's not over, Leo. And I know some, many of you just don't want to hear that right now. What I'm also getting with the five of wands here is this other person, it might really be like whoever got cut out. So we have two people here. We have one person that has finally walked away. And then we have the other person. Wherever you fall into this situation, for that other person, I really feel like they're really stuck in some serious internal conflict. Like if they manipulated the situation with the devil energy, now that you've taken your power back, now that you've, you're standing in your strength and you're walking away, they're like, what the actual fuck do I do now? In some cases, I'm feeling like they actually don't really want you to walk away. But they know, especially since now that you are walking away, you can't be manipulated anymore. Or it's going to be very difficult for them. They're going to have to really work to getting back, getting you back to that state where they have you on, like wrapped around their little finger. But I really hope nobody goes back to that. But what I'm also getting from the Five of Wands and the world in reverse, both of them are in reverse right now, is this other person is going through some major change, major, major change associated with this. They're really um, looking at the situation and seeing how a lot of their inner conflict, a lot of the inner conflict that I'm picking up on right now is realizing how they have manipulated the situation and being in conflict about with themselves about how to go about ending these cycles, changing certain things. And I'm even feeling an energy of um, feeling like they have to rush to do it so that you don't go, whoever's walking away doesn't get, a, get, get too far away and now all hope is lost. Okay, moving on. We've got judgment in reverse with the hanged man. All right. Hangman is upright. I just want to point out here, guys, we've got a, a decent amount of um, major arcana here. We had the lovers pop out before, and now we have strength, justice, the world, the world, judgment, and the hangman. This is big, Leo. 
This is a big time for you right now. A lot is happening. A lot is changing. But there is someone associated with this situation right now that is um, finally starting to hear a call. The judgment call that has been that the universe has been putting out for a long time. And I think for some of you, in the situ whatever the situation is, for some of you, like if you are walking away from someone, this is their energy. This is what I was talking about with the world in reverse and the five of wands in reverse. Now the call is too loud to ignore. And so they're in a state of self-imposed isolation, um, needing to sacrifice in order to hear this call and not only hear it, because they're hearing it now, but integrate this call. Like, finally answer it. They're, this person is in a timeout <laughs> right now with the hanged man. The universe is kind of forcing them into a timeout because they're saying, we've been trying to get your attention and you've been ignoring us. Well, you can't ignore us anymore. <laughs> I don't, I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh at those who are in this timeout because, yes, that's unfortunate. That sucks, but it's for your own good. I'll tell you that. Okay, moving forward, we have Nine of Cups in reverse. Someone's drowning their sorrows. Someone is indulging a little bit too much um, or someone has been indulging a little bit too much. And I think, and I, 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 I feel, I'm feeling like this Nine of Cups energy is directly related to this Three of Swords energy. Somebody was trying to have their cake and eat it too. And it fucked them up. It fucked the relationship up. It fucked the situation up. Three of nine, I'm sorry, nine of, whoa. Nine of cups in reverse is coupled with the five of swords. This is your shit starter card. Okay? Somebody was so intent on getting everything that they wanted in such a selfish way that it was really self-destructive. Like they were so focused on themselves. This could be you, Leo. But somebody in this situation was so focused on themselves that they were willing to do damn near anything to get it with the Five of Swords here. Like they wanted what they wanted, when they wanted it, how they wanted it, and fuck anybody that got in their way. God bless or God help anybody that got in their way because if you got in this person's way, they were going to cut you down. Viciously too, without a, without a care. Like so laser focused, so selfish and egotistical that... Again, they were going to do anything they wanted. Or I'm sorry, they were going to do anything they had to do to get what they wanted. That could have been in the past. That could be something, Leo, I'm going to say it right here, right now. That could be your energy. You could be putting, putting forth that vibe this month. That could be something that you might have to face this month. And if that's the case, that absolutely could be some devil energy here for you. Okay? All right. Moving forward, we've got four of swords. There's that timeout again. This could be either person. I feel like this, if this is, if we're talking, because we are, this is a love reading. Point blank period. The lovers came out. We've got the two of cups here. We've got the ace of cups. I mean, whatever. But I feel like this is a four of swords. This is a respite on both sides of the equation. Oh! The tower. And you know what that tower was? Someone walking away. Somebody walking away from the situation and really putting their foot down, I'm hearing, caused or is, in and of itself, a tower moment for both sides. Because it took some sort of shit starting here with the Five of Swords and the Nine of Cups in reverse for like the very last time. Like this is like a, a, a straw that broke the camel's back type of situation. And so whoever walked away woke the fuck up and said, peace, y'all, I'm out of here. And now is like kind of in like a, a mental respite, is trying to collect themselves, is dealing with some sort of energy of how the hell could I do that? Or how the hell could I allow that to happen to myself? What the F? What the actual fuck is wrong with me? And then this other person is like, holy shit, now what do I do? I can't manipulate them anymore. I can't, they're not under my, I, I can't control them. I can't control the situation anymore. What the f actual fuck do I do? 
Because it's not like if you're walking away from the situation, for the most part, I'm feeling like it's not like they want you to walk away. Now, this could be with this devil energy here, this could be they don't want you to walk away because they don't want to lose their source of energy that they can siphon from. Or conversely, this could be someone that actually really does love you with the two of cups and the, and the, the lovers that came out before. Really does care about you. At least really does have feelings about you. Deep feelings. But doesn't know, go, doesn't know how to go about having, carrying on a healthy relationship. And so this tower moment here with this four of swords is definitely a moment where now they are being faced with this and they can learn from it. They can actually start to learn what a healthy relationship is and that's exactly what we have here with Judgment in Reverse and the Hanged Man. Okay, Judgment in Reverse is the integration of this calling. The integration of a rebirth. Okay, finally for you, Leo, we've got, there's that Queen of Cups again. So you could be dealing with a water sign too. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What else do we have here? I really don't remember anything else. Okay, anyway, Queen of Cups is covered, coupled oof, with the Two of Swords. See, there we go. I told you, I told y'all, this other person is all up in their feelings. They're not sharing it. They're not making it known. But they might be a little bit of an emotional wreck in the, in the inside right now. At a stalemate. Stuck between a rock and a hard place. This could be your energy too, Leo. But anyway, stare at a stalemate. Don't know what the fuck to do. Kind of walk themselves into a big old trap. And now they don't know how to get out of it. Okay. There's that. So let's get into some oracle guidance for the fairy from the fairy forest deck here for you, Leo. Just one card, one card. All right, for Leo for the month of August, 2018. One card, please, spirit. For Leo, August, 2018. For Leo. August 2018. Gosh, Leo, I'm, I'm really still tapping into your energy. It is like so bright, vibrant yellow. There we go. The Golden Unicorn. I love this card, y'all. I love this card. And actually, <laughs> this falls right in line with what we were talking about here. I'm going to read from the book, but take a look at that. The Golden Unicorn. Protector, Guardian, Champion. I'm telling y'all... Those of you that have walked away from a really toxic relationship, this is way more of a victory than you think with the Six of Wands in reverse. All right, guys? Let's get into the book here. 43. Now, 4 and 3, this equals a 7. Change. Luck. Well, not... Well, yeah, change. Specifically in the situation, change, but luck. Good fortune. Yes? Protector. Guardian, champion, the golden unicorn. Everyone deserves to have another person in their life to whom they can turn for protection and care. When this card comes for you, the golden unicorn is showing you the path to a person, advisor, or mentor who will assist you through the challenges you are now facing. When the golden unicorn appears, it is a beacon of hope for with the right guidance, what seems to be impossible can be achieved and you will no longer feel so raw vulnerable, and unable to go on. The golden unicorn appears to those who are facing unjust circumstances. They will show you, step by step, how to get through this time when it seems that all friends have fallen away and the world is no longer a safe place. They lead with reason, intelligence, and intuitive br brilliance. With their guidance, you will come to a safer place within the world and be wiser in choices regarding friendships, alliances, and partnerships. You are wiser now and will never be quite so hurt again. There is now protective energy about you, 
and it is safe for you to leave the current circumstances and create a new path. The judgment you have sensed about you will now dissipate and true good people enter your life to help heal the pain of friendships that have fallen. Excellent, Leo. I love to see that for you, especially in light of all this shit. <laughs> all right. And again, please keep in mind, guys, this, is, this was a general reading. So either Leo, this is you or Leo, this is someone else connected with you. But just take this as it resonates. OK. All right, guys. Much love to you. Again, happy birthday, Leos. I hope you enjoy the rest of your season. And I look forward to connecting with you again next month. Yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye.